basically, if, if I decide to retire, uh, I don't want it to be one of those situations where, you know, after a couple months, I, I, I had the itch to play again. That's not something I want to. I, I want to do. I want to. I want to make a decision. I want to. I want to put put a lot of thought into it, and I want to make a final decision. I don't want to waver on it at all. And um, you know, I think. I think. You know, when you're making a, a decision as big as this, I think. You know, you need to take a lot of time and make sure it's the right thing. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, um, you know, it's going to be final, you know, once I, once I decide one way or the other. Yeah, my partner up in Chicago and I, we, we just acquired a building that we're going to try to develop. Um, event space. We got other ideas, too, about what we're going to do with it. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how that goes. But down here locally, um, I got relationships with people in that industry, development industry, general contractors, agents, real estate agents, brokers, and stuff like that. So it's you know I've been I've been basically preparing for retirement for a few years now because in 2013 I was supposed to be washed up and was supposed to be done. So I was just like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing for this, even though I knew that I was still gonna be able to play. I was just like it's time now. So. I started that process years ago, at least four years ago, four or five years ago, just looking looking to see what was going to be next. And um, I dibbled and dabbled in a few things. I did a I did a, um, a job shadow with the NFL Network. I did various things, you know, trying to explore what interests I have. But this was one of the things that kind of piqued my interest because it's 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 like a project. It's something that you start from the ground up and you watch it and. You, and you envision it and you watch it grow. So, um, yeah. It's, it's kind of like a hobby in a sense, but you know, when it comes to those expenses, it ain't no hobby. You gotta, it's a real thing. So you gotta consider that too. I just haven't, I just haven't jumped into it yet fully because I've been committed to, to, to playing football. Look. Watch out, Mar. Come on this side. Come on. Daddy. 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 What's up? Juice? Yeah. You want some? Yeah. All right, I got you. Here. My my device for hypnosis. Here you go. We're going to get Elijah now. Yeah, from the school. He got a little tennis practice. He loves his little tennis. So I go pick up Amari. We come up here and um, watch him watch him at tennis 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 camp. Give him five, you gonna give him a little dap? Elijah. Go, Elijah. Elijah, go, 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 go. <laughs> I know how important it was for me when I was playing sports and, and, and when I was when I was a kid to have support from my family, from my mom or whoever it was, uncles, brother, sister. There was always somebody at practice or games. So, you know, it, you, you need that. You need that support from, from your family. You have to say it. Oh, <laughs> it must be water bottle when you're in pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Go. Oh! Hmm? I don't need to use that. Water bottle? I don't drink it. Love me. Hey, that's yours. <laughs> here. Here. That's yours, Elijah. <laughs> I drink it. Oh, you drunk a little bit of here? Yeah. All right. 